Yes. Sir. No, that's done, sir. Okay, thank you so much, everyone. And uh, once this is ready, we'll be showing it later on. Have a good day. Thank you once again. That was another piece of learning for all of us. I think this is what we need. All of us have wonderful thoughts, but all of us are not able to share. And this is a wonderful platform we are getting today. We are learning from everybody. Once again, we are in the students' mood. Yeah? Fine. Going ahead with the presentations, we have secondary section teachers, higher secondary section teachers, I'm sorry, higher secondary section teachers coming here to present their views. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. I'm Kanchan Tandale, PGT Physics, and I'm here on behalf of Senior Secondary Section Udgam School to put forward certain aspects of education which are very essential in improving the quality. Well, why is quality emphasized so much? Ensuring quality in higher education is one of the most important contribution what we can make for future generations. As high school teachers, we always strive to enable our, teach our students, sorry, pardon, to enable our students to achieve their career goals, as well as to uh, ensure that they live a competent and successful life. Every child is unique. They all have their own ways of learning. But still, we can help them out. And for that, what we are going to do is, we would be categorizing them in two types. The first one is slow learners, and the other is gifted learners. Now, who are these slow learners? These are those individuals in a classroom who require repetitive revisions for understanding a particular concept, or they have a learning style which is a little bit slower compared to the other students. To help these set of students, we have developed an action plan in which we begin with first, informative walls. We will be making our classrooms full of information by putting up charts, having formula, as well as equation lists, graphs, diagrams, etc., which is a requisite for memorization in almost all the streams whether it is science, commerce, humanities, or any other for that matter. Next, we would be going for structured remedial classes at the right stage. Now, structured remedial classes at the right stage, we mean that we identify these students right after the first unit test of 11th standard and start working on them right away. Next, compulsory remedial classes. Previously, it has been observed that the remediation procedures conducted by various subject teachers on Saturdays are left unattended at times, making it mandatory for all the, all the students who require it would help in achieving very good long-term results. We need to strengthen a follow-up mechanism for which we will have formative assessment of the students done by respective subject teachers in regular intervals of time. Frequent and timely updates done on emails or on portal to the parents will help in building up a very good communication between parent, teacher, and the student. All of this will eventually motivate the student to work for better. The next category is gifted learners. Now, who are these gifted learners? They are those ones who are exceptional in a classroom, and they always stand apart. 
they always show an added interest to go for an extra mile and for them we can have this action plan executed in which the first is peer learning we will be channelizing the potential and energies of these learners to peer learning or group learning so that they can help others as well and this will help in widening their horizons of knowledge as well next acceptance of different methods to arrive at a particular result now there are many instances maybe it is science or commerce wherein when you are solving a particular numerical there are various methods in which that result can be achieved now acceptance of that will not only boost the confidence of these students but will motivate them to venture out new methodologies next what we will be doing is uploading extra application and challenging worksheets application based and challenging worksheets on the portal to cater to the needs of these inquisitive minds besides all this there is one more aspect which can be worked out for betterment and that is enhancing library facility all the subject teachers in udgam are having a very rich resource of reference material be it books or sample papers or any other reference material we will assemble all of them together to form a separate library for senior secondary students on third floor library in charge would be appointed in each and every class and these students would be helping in ensuring proper functioning of this library facility to conclude acknowledgement is always the first step towards improvement now this is just one aspect which i was discussing with you now to put light upon the other objectives i would like to call upon ms shefali patel on stage thank you thank you kanjan good morning to one and all from academics we move on to board examination the word most dreaded by the students is exams according to our system of education one of the important aspect of school education is the performance of the students in the board exam in the senior secondary section we aim to groom the students to excel in the first major exam that charts their future course of life right from standard 11 we train the students to acclimatize them with the board environment this year we observe that the board papers were lengthy difficult and the questions asked were application based in spite of this we achieved excellent results but we aim to see our students in the national level merit list so we will incorporate some changes to begin with till now we have been providing the students 3 hours and 15 minutes to complete the paper including the reading time this year we will provide them only 3 hours to complete the paper including reading time this will help to improve the writing speed secondly we will also provide them supplementaries similar to the board answer books this will give them practice of writing in horizontal answer sheet and bubble up the first page which is similar to the board answer book apart from this we will also give them practice of value based and application based questions in the class moving on udgam's uniqueness lies 
in making students write numerous practice papers before the board exams. This year, we will show the students an ideal answer sheet along with the marking scheme which is provided by the CBSE board. We will also give a photocopy of these to each student so that they can refer to at their convenience. This will help to improve their presentation skills. By the time December approaches, students start experiencing exam pressure. In order to ease them and channelize their efforts in the right direction, we plan to organize an exam orientation session with the students as well as the parents. In this, we will discuss how to tackle exam pressure, do's and don'ts while taking the board exam, so that the ambiguities regarding the board exams are addressed. Lastly, we have also observed in the past that many times students forget to carry their admit cards to the board center. So this year, we have decided that a teacher representative would be there with a photocopy of all the admit cards of all students. <clears throat> this will also be mentioned in board exam orientation session. This will help to tackle such emergencies as well as will provide the required assistance to the students. Thus, we hope that these measures will help to ease the fear and the stress related to board exams and make Udgam a name to reckon with in the world of education. Thank you. I request my colleague Sylvia to continue with the presentation. Thank you, ma'am. We've always heard that education should facilitate the overall development of a child, or that education is all about furthering the overall development of a child in order to prepare them for life. We just discussed a few vital aspects of education, examinations, and academics. We now move on to a few aspects beyond academics, which can help us to create a perfect atmosphere for the teaching learning process. I'm sure we all love appreciation, be it from family, friends, or our employers. Walter has rightly said that appreciation is a wonderful thing, which makes what is excellent in others belong to you as well. At Udgam, we have always tried to appreciate our students with certificates, general assemblies, and regular updates on the school website. However, we also feel that a formal felicitation ceremony, once the board results are out, can really be a great morale booster. The felicitation ceremony can have our parents and students there, and also the felicitation ceremony could be awarding students who are toppers in academics, sports, and other extracurricular activities. Apart from this, we also feel that we should have a wall of fame right at the entrance of our school building. The wall of fame is a permanent list of our school toppers in academics every year. And this can also feature any achievements in national level sports. Know your system to make the most of it. A lot of our students come quite lost when they enter class 11th. They come in from a very overprotective CCE system and coming in and adjusting to the grueling routines of class 11th is really tough for them. Great system to marking system. A part of the syllabus for the examination and the entire syllabus for the exams. To make them more comfortable for the class 11 session, 
We also plan to have an orientation for the parents and students of class 11th right at the beginning of the academic session. This will help them become more familiar to the exam system, the marking scheme, the subject and the subject teachers. We would also like to throw light on the holistic development of children. We began our presentation talking of how education is all about preparing our students for a very competent and successful life. Discovering and developing their strengths, boosting the emotional, social potential in them is also one of the aims of education. Arranging seminars, which aren't any advertisements of institutions, can really help our students a lot. Parents, teachers, and our alumni can volunteer to conduct these seminars. The seminars could be taken up on various topics like stress management, time management, health and nutrition, sex education, hobbies, career counseling, and any other relevant topic which can be beneficial for our students. Apart from this, we also feel that arranging for a talk by the senior students, wherein the senior students try and cater to all the queries related to exams and academics that their juniors have, could also prove quite beneficial. Moving further, 